Hello, everyone. In the book of Titus, chapter 1 and verse 2, it tells us, In hope of eternal life, which God cannot lie, promised before the world began. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 3, this was the first day. God said, Let there be light. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 2, we see that darkness was upon the earth at that time. The sun and the moon uh, was not there yet. We see in the book of John, chapter 1 and verse 5, it says, The light shined in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. The Holy Spirit of God spoke to me, and he said, Where did God promise everlasting life, eternal life, before the world began? He promised it in the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 3. Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. From the very first day, God promised eternal life. In the book of John, chapter 1 and verse 4, it says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Woo! That's good stuff right there, church. Amen. That's the good stuff right there. In the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 23, in the new city, Jerusalem, it has no need of the sun, neither the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. Oh, God is establishing that word with us again. There's the eternal life that was promised from the first day. God promised the world eternal life. And that life, listen to me, church. That life is in the light of the world. That life is in Jesus Christ, the glory of God. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse uh, 2 and 3. In the book of uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 15 and verse 45, we see that Jesus is the last Adam. And he is a quickening spirit. He is a life-giving spirit because he is part of God. He is of the Trinity. He is God. In the book of Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15, God is talking to the woman and he tells her, and he's also talking to the devil. He said, it. He said, the woman's seed, it shall bruise the serpent's head. It. Look that up in the dictionary, church. That's a third. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 59 and verse 9, see what it is going to do. It broke the head of the dragon in the sea. Woo that word's amazing, ain't it, church? That word is amazing. How the Holy Spirit of God puts that word together and we get to see the mysteries of God being revealed, it is amazing. Woo, it is amazing. In the book of Genesis chapter 3 and verse 22, it says, The Lord God said, Man is become as one of us to know good and evil. God, as a spirit, a spirit does not know life and death. It is an eternal being. But it said one. Oh, ain't God good? Ain't he good, church? Oh, that word's amazing. It is. One, he said, of us to know good and evil. That one he's talking of is Jesus. Because the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld the glory of the only begotten of the Father. Because Jesus was sent from the garden in Genesis 3 and 24. Because God drove the man out. In Genesis 3 and 24, he drove out the man. Genesis 3 and 23, he sent the man out. That was Jesus. So from the day... On the beginning, from the first day, God promised life. And he knew that the one of them that was going to know death was going to be Jesus. And Jesus is one with God because he tells us that in the book of John chapter 17 and verse 23. Church, do you see 
the revelation knowledge of the Holy Spirit of God, how he brought that word to life and showed us that on the first day the light shined in the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. God promised eternal life from the beginning of the world. And even in the garden before Adam and his wife were driven out of here, the devil knew that it, the third of the Trinity, was going to bruise his head. And God knew that one of them, one of the Trinity, was going to know good and evil because he knew life and he knew death. But praise God, 1 Corinthians 15 and 45 says the last Adam was made a quickening spirit, a life-giving spirit. And we see that word, that promise, the promises of God that he made to the world on the first day, eternal life. We will see that life is in Jesus. It is in the Lamb. He is the light of the city. In the book of Revelations, chapter 21 and verse 23, the light of the city. We are the city, church. The light, the life, the eternal life of the city is in Jesus Christ that was promised. Glory, hallelujah. That's good stuff right there, church. Was promised when the light shined on the first day. God is good. Amen, church. That's the God we serve. He made a promise to the world on the first day. In the beginning, he made a promise. And at the end, he's going to keep that promise. Because in the end, the light and the life was always in Jesus. God already had it planned out. Church, it was finished on the seventh day. The light and the life is in the one of the Trinity that would know life and death. And he is a quickening, life-giving spirit. And he promised us life on the first day. And we will have that eternal life in the city. Woo! Glory, hallelujah. Where the Lamb is the light. Glory, hallelujah. It don't get no better than that, church. It don't. That's the good stuff right there. That's revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. And it is the good stuff. That's the beauty and, and the work of our God. That it, those little bitty words, two little words, I-T, was going to be so powerful. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's good stuff, church. That's it right there. And we see God through time performing his word. That life-given spirit will be in each and every one of us. Because Jesus is our light and he is our life and our life is in him amen in him we live in him we move in him we have our being it is all about him church amen it is all about our god and the power of the signs and the wonders and the miracles that he did through it through his son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you, church. Today, may the blessings of God be poured out upon you. And may you be a blessing to those around you. Let your light shine, church. That they may see your good works. And glorify your Father who is in heaven. God bless you, my dear, precious friends. I thank God for each and every one of you. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go home to the city where the Lamb is the light, to the eternal city, 
to be joined with my King, with my Lord and my Savior. What a day that will be when we all shall see Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to his holy name. Let everything that has breath praise God. Thank you, Father, for your precious Son, Jesus Christ, that you sent the light and the life of the world. Thank you, Father, for everlasting life. Thank you, Father, for our dear King Jesus, our Savior. Amen, church. And Father, we thank you for the Comforter, for the Holy Spirit of God that will comfort us in our hour of need, in our hour of trouble. That the Holy Spirit of God will strengthen us and bear us up on eagle wings. God bless you, church. God bless you.